Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. 22 veterans a day commit suicide in this country. It's absolutely unacceptable, and this channel is committed to raising awareness about that. Now, once we raise awareness, once we get people talking, once we get people knowing, then we can start looking at solutions. In the meantime, if you are a veteran, if you are suffering, if you are hurting, if you think you're alone, know this. We love you, and we care about you, and this channel cares about you, and we support you. Reach out to someone you trust. If not, reach out to a professional. Please, 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 just take it. Just pause. Don't hurt yourself, please. So let's raise awareness. 22 veterans a day commit suicide. Now, we back the blue. We do that by not breaking the damn law. We ain't always seen eye to eye. That's fine. But we still support our law enforcement officers. And to my addicts, I love you guys. I'm one of you guys. God knows I care about you. Never quit quitting. It will stick. It will take. It may take a few times to quit, but never quit quitting. Keeping that fight. Now, having said all that, let me say this. Two things. One, thank you so, so much for everyone who has subscribed uh, over the past couple weeks. We've seen a huge jump this week. I think I've jumped 25 to 30 subscribers. Now, for me, that's huge, son. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all back there at 87 that I'd take 87 that was committed, and we'd charge hell with a water pistol. I don't even know what that means. I, I make stuff up as I go, but it still holds the same. So I think we're right around that 380 mark. We're growing. At 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away a D-Bad Preacher. Dude, you don't want to miss that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss that. Now, it'll take them about 10 years to get the damn knife to me, so I'm going to go ahead and order one, have it ready. I'm just being smart. Cookery House, I love you guys very much. I'm the most impatient human being in the world, son. I watched an unboxing the other day. This old boy unboxed a Randall. Now, well, it's from last year, okay? So it's 2019. My man had ordered it in 2014. There is a five or six year waiting list for Randall. And I love Randall. That's my grill knife. Dude, I just, I love Randall knives. But I ain't waiting five years for Randall. I, I, my son, I'll be dead in five years. Lord have mercy. I'd move, forget about it. Ugh, it'd just be bad. Maybe it would kill me one because I think they start around five or six hundred bones and go up, but they're gorgeous. They're beautiful, and I love Randall knives. Love it. Y'all want to give me one? Hey, I'm right y'all. Now, I digress. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my old subscribers. Thank you for everybody who comments. This is a big thank you for me. I love y'all. I really do. Now, that was the first thing. I forgot the second thing because I talked too much on the first one. We'll circle. You know how to do. I'll go out here, start here, and we'll come back here. So, the point of today's video is this. It's a what's in your pocket. I appreciate everybody that that responds, even when it's begrudgingly. Oh, my God, Scrabble. We got to do this again. It's the same thing, son. I don't know why we got to keep it. You know, y'all don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you, you can just turn the video off. Crew don't buy. I, I mean, if it bothers you that much. I may just start doing a what's in your pocket morning, noon, and night edition just for you. I'll tell you what, Scab, I, it's the same thing I had this morning. I don't know why, we, uh, whatever. So what's in your pocket? Hey, here's why I'm doing it. Somebody says, Scab, you just it off. Well, I mean, look at me. The beast from the east, son. The best in the way, you know. I'm a walking show off. I do it because it's a good way for us to communicate with each other. Let me see what you guys are carrying. Hey, there may be some guys that think, man, I can carry that, or man, I need to get this, or man, it just opens dialogue. Del King, Jimbo Knight, always bring some strong offerings. The rest of you guys. Pick up, no, the rest of you guys, I love. Everybody brings good offerings. I love seeing what y'all got. And believe me, if you put a knife in there that I hadn't seen before, I Google. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of these guys, that, you know, I seen the dude the other day, and I'm not going to say his name. It was on a knife video. And it was some particular, I can't remember the question, but he was like, well, 
I've been doing this for four years, meaning knife reviews. So what? Did that make you an expert? I've been playing with knives for four years. Shut up, dude. I, if I could have reached out, I'd bow. You know? Dude asked him a legit question, and he's over there with some dumbass, smartass answer. That's all the cuz I'm going to do. I need them curse jars, and I'm going to do curse jar for Christmas. We're going to raise it for, for kids in need. Mine. So, when I say cuss word, y'all throw a quarter in there, and then at Christmas, y'all send me the, the jars. It'll be a good thing. Show your appreciation to me for all I do for you. Okay. Moving on. Now, what's in your pocket? I want you to put below what you got. It's the weekend, son. So, hey, if it's the same thing, that's cool. Richard always puts, hey, man, same old thing. He carries a Gerber. Um, had that thing for years. I, I, we were messing around, talked to him last night. And I seen it's a thin knife. He uses it. So I'm appreciative uh, for him responding. Now, so everybody put what's in your pocket. If you carry a fixed blade, some guys carry a fixed blade on the weekend, put that on there. I'm just really interested in what, what you got. Now, I've got a little bit of different setup today because we're going to do some kayaking, you know, scab out on the water. So I'm taking my fall nibbing F1. Love this knife. This is perfect for me. Now, nine times out of 10, 99.9% .9 of the time, I do carry my D-Bad Preacher. That's my everyday carry uh, fixed blade. I'm blessed and I'm fortunate to be able to carry a fixed blade every day. And the D-Bad Preacher is uh, that until I go kayaking. And then I need something light, fast, and in a hurry, which uh, none of which describes me. But the F1 gets it done. So that's my fixed blade for today. I also have, and we know what this is going to be, the Raja. When we go kayaking, this is my big knife. This is my chopper. This one gets it done. And basically, I just ride by and cut vines in the river, stare at the sky and stuff. Um, for pocket knife for today, we're going to go... I'm going to go with the Emerson CQC7. I know y'all have seen it, but this is kind of my, like I said, this is my go-to do-everything knife, so it goes in my pocket. And, of course, I got the knife that uh, Joseph Smith gave to me. That one goes with me every day. Um, it means a lot. It's the one Eric was um, had on him when he was killed. Um, so it, it means a lot to me. Now, I carry another bag, like a dry bag with me. It's got some survival stuff. Not that will ever need to survive, but I got it with me. And in that bag, I always put this knife. And I've showed y'all this one a couple times. It's a Boker. Boker is kind of one of those, it's it's a, um, some people love them, some people hate them, some people don't know. Boker's a different deal. So this is the Boker Magnum. Kind of a, a little bit of a drop point there. I love this knife. The steel is 448. Most of the time, is that a good steel? No. But it is incredibly corrosion resistant. So we can sharpen it up real good. Like this thing's really, really sharp. And, you know, yes, you'll have to resharpen this one a good bit, but it will not rust, it will not corrode. 448. Not a super steel at all. At all. But it is highly corrosion resistant. I've spent a lot of time researching that. I'm not arguing with you about it. Just for the fact checkers out there. So we got that. Now, the other knives that I carry on the way to kayak, but do not go kayaking with me, are, well, you know what, I'm gonna leave this one here. This was my CQC8. I used it for work yesterday. Went back in, reprofiled that blade again. I love this knife, it's a good knife, but I'm gonna leave this one at home since we're taking the CQC7. The other one that goes, but now this, this thing does not go in the water. My Medford, love this knife, dude. I, I carry this one a lot. Now, when you carry a knife that's more than your mortgage payment, you don't want to lose it in the river, so this one will stay locked up in the car. But I do carry this knife a lot, well, I'll carry it every day to get used to it. I've, I've preached this and preached this and preached this and preached this to y'all. If you haven't ever used a knife, don't carry the thing for self-defense. I'm just telling you. Like, I'll carry a gun. Well, good for you. 
near White Earp. Glad you do. But most of us is carrying a knife. Because here's why I carry this one. Is it self I don't know. I mean, I've been stabbed, been cut, done all that. And I've, I've, I've had the unfortunate feeling of having to stab uh, somebody one time. It was not good. Stab in the leg. Don't get a work up over it. I was getting kicked to sleep under a car, son. You know, I told y'all I bounced for 20 years. And, and I know all y'all would have whipped seven or eight people at one time. And all, yeah. You know, here's the deal. Let me just, let me share this. And, and I'm, I'm going to wrap this thing up. The whole typing tough guy thing sounds good. Okay. But you can't get scars from typing. You hear what I'm telling you? So, I don't do the tough guy thing on here. I'd rather be have some, tell some funny stories and do all that that stuff. But some of you guys want to go, oh, look okay, up. Okay. You ain't fooling nobody, dude. Okay? So, having said all that, I don't even know why. I got, I'm all over the place this morning. I need to eat. They took some blood yesterday. It took about 12 gallons. I think I lost 15 pounds while I was trying to donate blood. But here's my med for just basking the sweetness. S90B. Dude. Man, that's a heck of a knife. I'm going to try to balance it, and that ain't going to work. Let's see if I can do it. Look at that. I'm more impressed that I can do it than you are. Ooh-wee. That's a bad motor scooter. Like I said, it, it, you can't, if these things are uh, S90, a little more difficult to sharpen if you enjoy sharpening. And I'm not saying, oh, it's hard. That's not what I'm saying. It just takes a little more time. S90 is known for that. But it's also incredibly hard to dull this thing up, has great edge retention. Love this knife, it feels great in hand. The more I carry it, the more I like it. Scab, do you use it? I wouldn't use it, I use it every day. I really do. Now, I'm not gonna stick it down in muddy water and do all that crap. Could I? Sure I could. These things are well built, tolerances are great. I'm gonna do a review on this, um, but I carry this one, okay, I'm gonna stop because we're running long. Listen, I love y'all, God bless y'all. And I mean that. Um, if you don't uh, believe in that kind of thing, well then may the cosmos look after you. Um, here's my knife Joseph gave me. This ain't, and this ain't sharp, son. Ooh, it is sharp. Now y'all know I'm not a serrations guy, but for this knife, I could, the whole damn thing could be serrated uh, because it's, it's the thought and it's the, the care behind it. And I know that ease with me when I got this thing. So, hey, love y'all. God bless y'all. I'll see y'all again this afternoon. I'm going to do a, a review of the uh, Cold Steel. Oh, Scab's doing Cold Steel. Cold Steel Recon Scout, one of my faves. Um, I started just abbreviating words because I like doing that. Hey, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Hey, let me try something real quick. Real quick. Y'all bear with me. Stay with me. Stay in the fight. Keep it up. Keep your head up. I'm going to see if this thing will work. While we're seeing if it's... Oh, here's my PM2. Paramilitary 2. Tactical as shit. Looking good. I love y'all. Hey, I'm Scab. You're not. And I'm gone. It didn't work. Thanks, kill me. Oh, I didn't have it on. Let's bask in the sweetness of the PM2 while we're waiting on this to turn on. Okay. I'm Scab. You're not. We're gone.